Marcus, Mark, 3. And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there which had a withered hand. And they watched him, whether he would heal him on the Shabbat, that they might accuse him. And he said unto the man which had the withered hand, Stand forth. And he said unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Shabbat, or to do evil? To save life, or to kill? But they held their peace. And when he had looked round about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he said unto the man, Stretch forth your hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. After the parashim went forth, and straightway took counsel with the Herodonians against him, how they might destroy him. But Yahusha withdrew himself with his Talmudim to the sea, and a great multitude from Galil followed him, and from Yahud, and from Yerushalayim, and from Edom, and from beyond the Yardan, and they about Sor and Sidon, a great multitude, when they had heard what great things he did, Eth came unto him. And he spoke to his Talmudim that a small ship should wait on him because of the multitude, lest they should throng him. For he had healed many, so much so that they pressed upon him for to touch him as many as had plagues. And unclean Ruachoth, when they saw him, fell down before him and cried, saying, You are the son of Elohim. And he straightly charged them, that they should not make him known. And he went up into a mountain, and called unto him whom he would, and they came unto him. And he ordained twelve that they should be with him, and that he might send them forth to preach, and to have power to heal sicknesses, and to cast out devils. And Shimon he surnamed Kepha, and Yaakov, the son of Zavdi, and Yahuchanan, the brother of Yaakov, and he surnamed, rather, surnamed them Bene Ragosh, which is the sons of thunder, and Adrai, and Philip, and Bar Talmai, and Matit Yahu, and Taom, and Yaakov, the son of Chelef, and Tadai and Shimon the Kenaini, and Yahuda Ish Kirot, which also betrayed him, and they went into a house. And the multitude came together again, so that they could not so much as eat bread. And when his friends heard of it, they went out to lay hold on him, for they said, He is beside himself. And the scribes which came down from Yerushalayim said, He has Baal Zabub, and by the prince of the devils casts he out devils. And he called them unto him, and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that king kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but has an end. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Amen, I say unto you. All sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Ruach HaKadosh has never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. Because they said, he has an unclean Ruach. 
There came then his brethren and his mother, and, standing without, sent unto him, calling. And the multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, your mother and your brethren without seek for you. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? And he looked round about on them which sat about him, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of Yahweh, the same is my brother and my sister and mother.